Welcome my dear friends. Have you ever thought about using your smartphone camera as a PC webcam? Or your mobile's microphone as a computer mic? Well these days, mobile devices come with high quality hardware than the traditional webcam or microphone. Check it out, the default camera that comes with your laptop is definitely not as effective as your mobile camera. With no further ado let's get started. On your computer, please download and install DroidCam PC software. I've provided all download links in the video description. Similarly, on your Android device, go to Play Store and install DroidCam app. Let's open both these apps that we just installed. Allow Droid Cam to record video as well as audio. If your phone and the PC are on the same Wi Fi network or connected to the same router using Ethernet cable, then this Wi Fi option works best for you. I'll later show you how to connect using USB cable. Please note down the IP address and port number from your Android and use the same over here in your PC. Please select video and audio to enable both camera and mic. Once all done, please click on start. And be alert, you may get firewall request to accept the connection, please allow it accordingly. Now I could see my camera output in my PC. Let me quickly connect to a Zoom meeting and show you how it works. Down below over here please select this little arrow and choose DroidCam microphone. Similarly select this little arrow and choose Droid Cam as camera. Unmute the audio and start the video. As you see, I can successfully use both my mobile camera and mic in my PC. Those who don't have Wi-Fi can connect using USB data cable. Let's quickly see how. Please connect your PC and mobile with an USB cable. For this to work, you have to enable developer options and USB debugging. Please ensure that the DroidCam app is opened in your Android. On your DroidCam PC app, right click and select Start. Tap on this USB icon. Over here refresh. Throughout this process, please be alert both on your PC and mobile and allow connection requests as in when you get it. Once you see your device listed, go ahead and click on start. As you can see, this works well over USB as well. Before I end this video, I'd like to share a few tips. If you want to rotate your video, please rotate your Android device or else please use this rotate option in Zoom. You can switch between your front and back camera using this little icon. I'd say the quality of the video is good, but if you still want to improve, please use this HD icon. This will display some short advertisement. And at the end it allows you to enjoy HD feature for some time. And if you are firmly looking for improved quality then please try Irie in 4K. Setups and everything is same as we did in this video. You can take Irie in download links from the video description. Hope this helpful. If you've any questions, please add your comments below, I'll respond. Please like and subscribe if not done already. Thanks for watching.